Ted. Expenses on the last two cases, $4,002.18. Financial returns, none. But there were other returns. I solved the cases. Now, how better could I spend my money? Even if I told you, you still wouldn't buy me a mink coat. Now, don't change the subject, little lady. Don't you think I'd make a good secretary? Well, now, that remains to be seen. I can do anything a secretary is supposed to do. For instance, I can sit on my employer's lap. So I notice. And when your secretary's on your lap, aren't you supposed to, uh... Well, now, I hate to do the conventional thing. But if you insist... <laughs> Darling, we're wasting a lot of time. Why don't we get married? Well, okay. Right now, tonight. Oh, Lamont. Darling, do you mean it? Oh, Lamont, you're wonderful. Then you mean you'll give up... Oh, no. Oh, Lamont. Margot, look. As a shadow, I can do a lot more good in the world than I ever could as a businessman. Here we go again. The same old argument. That's all you ever say to a girl is no, no, no. Beginning to feel as though I'm engaged to the invisible man. Oh, all right. Now you are invisible. Lamont, where... Oh, there you are. Take it easy, Margot. There's nothing to worry about. There isn't. You run too many risks. I want to be your wife, darling, not your widow. If you keep on, where does, where does that leave me? Right where you are, darling. Yeah. I know, just the shadow's little shadow. Do you realize that in three weeks we will have been engaged a whole year? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sweet. Margot, if a worthwhile case doesn't show up within three weeks, I'll quit. We're good. And we'll get married? Mm -hmm. I'll hold you to that promise. Mm -hmm. Oh, darling, what time is it? Ten o'clock, Miss Lane. Oh. Hmm. A very pretty picture, if I may say so, boss. You may. Thank you, sir. Er, I mean, boss. I think we'd uh, better get going. Just got word from headquarters, Burbank. They're opening the grave right now. Nice going, Hawkeye. Who got permission to open it? Michael Haston. Got some government official to back him up. <laughs> Say, listen, do you think the shadow might be interested? I don't know. I'll see. The lovely face and figure you're wearing tonight, darling. Thank you. Raston speaking. Oh, hello, Burbank. He's been waiting for that thing to ring. Yes? Remind me to sell my telephone stock in the morning. Gee, do you own some of that? No, but remind me anyway. Yes, I would. Are you sure? We told the Jomans be there. The Jomans at the cemetery? He's there. Okay, I'll check back later. Uh, I'm sorry, darling, but we're not going to the nightclub. But it's their opening night. Well, we're going to an opening, all right. Where? The cemetery. Wait a minute. I'm not going to any cemetery. Until I'm dead. In that case, they let you in tonight. Well, that's very nice, sir. And the left arm. I don't know about these jewels. He's calling from the car. Stick close to that yeoman, too.
Just a minute, Mr. Yeoman. Hey, 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 what? We brought you out from Hasden, so we'll take you back there. Oh, oh yes, yes, of course. Certainly is dead around here. Of course it is. It's a cemetery. Better control those goose pimples, or they'll show. You idiot. Boss, you pay me, but I got to agree with Miss Marco. Thank you, Shrevy. You're a darling. Thank you. Well, we're going to Michael Hasden's if Darling doesn't mind starting the car. Oh, sure. Darling? Oh, have a hard boss now. Let's go, Darling. Oh, here we go. Excellent. Fine job you're doing, Inspector. Inspector Donna. Mm. Oh, sorry, Commissioner Weston. I haven't had any sleep in four days. I understand. How many jobs you on now? Five? No, four. The night I got that girl who tattooed her boyfriend with a hatchet. Good. The only good thing about it is your nephew hasn't been around bothering me. <laughs> I know how you feel, but Lamont's a good boy. I let him hang around because he's interested in studying criminology. I wish he'd go to Alaska and take a course by correspondence. Oh, what I mean, Commissioner, is it? Yes? When? I see. Yes, he's here. I'll tell him. That call was about the graves they opened tonight. They took jewels from him. Might be a case for the customs department. Now get a car. I'm going with you. Inspector. And the commissioner. Where are the jewels that came out of the grave? Uh, Mr. Yeoman here is... Uh... He's got him. The man's going in the house. Uh-oh. Something's up. It's locked. There's my old pal Cardona. Mr. Humans, why uh, What is uh, Come on. Uh, something wrong? Who are you? Uh, Robert Buell. I'm staying here as a guest. I asked you, where's Humans? He's out, sir. He just came we in. We saw him. I never let him in. If anyone else did, why? Did any of you see him? He's not back yet. Mr. Yeomans hasn't returned from the cemetery. Uh, Yeomans. We saw him come in just now. With some jewels he got out of a grave. If anyone came in, we'd have seen him. Just inside the living room entrance. In there, all of you. You too. Come on. Watch outside and let no one go out. Going to search the place? Yeah. He's in again. Who? Lamont Cranston. Oh, just a moment, I'll see. Oh, uh, you mean me, Inspector? Yeah. You're Michael Hasden, owner of this house? Yes, that's right. I'm Paul Brick, Mr. Hasden's secretary. <laughs> and you? Lenore Jessup of Chicago. I'm a house guest here on a business visit. He's that ex-chorus girl. Hasden used to chase chorus girl. Can't catch them. I'm here on business also. My eye is very weak. Well, I'm Charles Froby, importer and exporter. You have a place here in New York. Yes, offices in the warehouse. Then you're not staying here in the house. No. I arrived here for a business meeting just before you gentlemen arrived. Well, well, well. My old friend, Bill Monk. I'm William Monk of Los Angeles. I'm a house guest You're Bill here. Monk, ex racketeer of New York. My business now is strictly legal. Strictly legal, eh? I have a permit for that. You always did have, somehow. You know the butler? Yes, sir. Name? John Adams, sir. Yeomans entered this house and didn't leave. Now, just what business brought you people together? Mr. Yeomans and his gems. 
strictly legal, card owner. We formed a corporation to buy the uh, jewels. We expected to buy them from Hasden. Hasden? Yes, he owns them. And at least he said he did. They're all trying to swindle me. But I know what's going on. Just a moment. Time for me to get busy. Where to, boss? Nowhere. We're practically there. Well, we're there now. Happy driving, Shrevy. Take it easy, boss. The cop at the door is looking around. Out there on the balcony. The shadow. Don't move, please. Where's Hasden? I must talk to him. Out there on the balcony. Hasden knows what happened tonight. Get him here and make him talk. Mr. Hasden. Come here, please. Dead, Inspector. His neck's broken. Keep everyone inside. Let no one out. All right, inside everyone. Come on, let's go. Where's the shadow? I'll go downstairs. Now look around up here. anyone come this way? Uh, no, I didn't. Oh, uh, you got a match about you? I want to light my cigar. Your cigar's burning. So it is. What'll they think of next? Now they're selling them already lit. Why, you're Lamont Cranston. Why, yes. The police commissioner's nephew. That's right. Well, I want you to understand my position in this affair. You <laughs> see, Excuse I... me. Well. Oh, go right ahead. Don't mind me. I don't. Why did you do that? I might have learned something. That's the way you learn things. You'd better remain ignorant. Well, uh, she does look striking. Striking? Well, if she hangs around you, she looks struck. In both eyes. No one upstairs. The guards say no one got out. Again. Yeomans in the shadow entered the house, then disappeared without going out. Now, how did he do it? 
Did Hampton fall from the balcony? He jumped. We saw him commit suicide. Oh, no, I can't believe that. I'll get started on this case, if you don't mind. Oh, not at all. Well, you better shift to the other foot. Uh, you started off on the wrong one. But... Uh, by the way, Inspector, which is your wrong foot? <laughs> Good night. G Good night. Uh -oh. Well, they think Hasden committed suicide. Didn't he? Mm. It was murder. Murder? Hasden was miserly. He never gave up anything, especially his own life. It's beyond me. I simply can't imagine how Yeomans managed to disappear. Me neither. Well, we'll just have to draw our own confusions. <laughs> did you get that word, boys? Yeah. Where did you get it? In the dictionary. Well, you better put it back. Uh... Listen. Maybe Yeomans has been studying the shadows technique. And maybe you're right. Come on. As you see, sir, the architect's plans show no secret passages or doorways. I see it. Well, I simply can't understand it. I can't now, but I will. Who inherits Hasden's property? His nephew, Mr. Samuel. But until Mr. Samuel returns from Australia, I'm in charge. You forget the police are in charge right now, and I... Look, Cranston, your uncle isn't here now, and I want to tell you, quit the finger waving, will you? Yep. Oh. Hello, Commissioner. The DA wants to know what you've decided, Inspector. Suicide and disappearance. Oh, you almost disappeared all right, but uh, Hasn't's death could have been murder. It will be murder if you don't uh, stop... Uh, Did Hasn't have any reason to commit suicide? Why, no. None, of course. Did Hazens know that Yeomans was shipping his jewels into the country with a corpse? Where are you going? I thought I'd go outside for a little fresh air. There's plenty of fresh air in the living room. Get back there. What were those jewels worth? All I know is Mr. Hazens said they were worth millions. Millions? That's why the shadow was here. He got them. Oh, no! I mean, oh, that's wonderful, Inspector. How did you figure it out? The shadow was here and then disappeared. He could have taken Yeomans and the jewels with him. And Hasden was not murdered. The commissioner and I saw him jump from the balcony. How long were you with Mr. Hasden? Oh, about eight years, sir. Hmm. Wasn't Hasden traveling around the world about eight years ago when he picked up all these souvenirs he has hanging around the house? Yes, sir. He hired me in Australia. Thank you. A dog. Souvenirs. Want to question anyone else before the police take over? Oh, no, Inspector. Uh, I prefer action. Action? Well, you'll get it if you don't stop butting into my business. Now, wait a minute, Inspector. No use of getting excited. Excited? Who's uh, excited? The mom, uh, we have to be going. What? Oh, yes, we have to be going. See you later. You've got to admit, Commissioner, that your nephew is wasting his time. He'll never make a criminologist. Well, you've got to admit he tried hard enough. <laughs> You stay here. I'm doing a solo. What's he going in there to sing for? Freddie, he's not going in there to sing. Well, he just said. Oh, I know. He's going to play the piano. Is that it? That's not it. We've talked and talked. There's only one thing to do. What's that? The police are bound to recover Yeoman's jewels. Well, I hope so. Then we make a deal right now with Brick. With me? You're in charge of Hasden's estate. Oh, yes, but only until Mr. Hasden's nephew returns. So what? Think we'll tell him anything? No, we'll pay very well. Handsomely. Handsomely. Well, yes or no? Well, I think matters can be arranged. Good. But what about Mr. Probe? We forgot Probe. I didn't. He was in on the deal to buy the stuff from Hanson. Uh, he won't like this new arrangement. If Probe doesn't like it, can he be taken care of?
Yeah, I used to drive a cross-country corn popper. You know, that's a truck with a trailer. Then I met the new girlfriend. I fell for her so hard, I almost fractured my spine. I don't get it. You mean about the new girlfriend? No, no, I didn't think. Oh, that's bad, boss. That's bad. Don't I know it? Now, listen. If Flo Bay was in on that first deal with those people, why do they think he won't like what they're doing now, and why do they want to get rid of him? That's what I'm trying to learn. And that's why we're going to look over Flo Bay's place of business. Now, listen. This is my... Action, Shrevy, action. Go to the house. What is happening? Listen, will you stop that? Listen, be quiet. Stop it. 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 Uh -huh. Well, we look over the warehouse and find Probay's office and get behind the cab, quick. What's the matter? Take a look. Hey, boss, it's that serving guy. Yeah. Adam, what's he doing here? You know, when I take you places, things really happen, don't they, baby? Yes, darling, you are slightly wonderful. Hey, boss, boss, this is a public street. For so what? I pay my taxes. So do I. So do I, but I don't get nothing like that. Poor Shrevy. But we gotta find Adam. Well, I come pretty close anyhow. Why, does it make so much noise? It ain't me, it's the door. Get ready, I'm going to... Oh, you ain't Adams. Then I won't slug you. I didn't sock back, and me that comes from Brooklyn. You know what? Hey, boss. Hold it. Where are you going? We just stopped in to see Mr. Fobay. Yeah, okay, if those stairs are no funny business. Okay. Hey, you're the guy that socked me. My mistake. My mistake. somewhere in your warehouse. Adams, the Hasden butler? Yes. In the warehouse? I think you'd better call the police. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Uh, I mean, if Adams is here, he must have a reason. He has. He means to kill you. Kill me? Yes. Certain business associates of yours have expressed a desire to be rid of you. Better call the police. Mr. Cranston, if there is need for the police, I will decide. Now, if you will excuse me, I have an awful lot to do. The importing business today is not... What about the jewels? Jewels? Yes, uh, you import them. Isn't that why you were so interested in the gems Jomans was taking to Hasden? I, uh... I import only commercial stones. Look. I will show you the sort of gems I import. Good.
Now, these are what I import. Commercial diamonds sold by the pound, used for industrial tool making. Mm -hmm. uh, what kind of jewels did Yeomans have? Why, I... I don't know, but... If you'll excuse me now. Yes, of course. Uh, well, I'm sorry to trouble you. Come along, Chevy. There's something funny there. Broadway's more frightened of the police than he is of anyone trying to kill him. Where to, homeboys? The morgue. Morgue? First it's the cemetery, now it's the morgue. What are we doing, working the graveyard, Chip? Who is he? Who's who? Who's what? Uh-oh. I don't know. There was nothing in his pocket. Get in, Margo. I'll drive. Hey, wait a minute. We all can't get in there. Yeah, I know that. You ride with him. Uh, with him? I don't even know the guy. You'll get acquainted. The body's been dead almost a week. Okay, thanks, Molly. Well, missing persons can't help us. No one's inquired about a body of this description. That's what comes of your running around in a private cab. But I did nothing. Why do you need a private cab? Because every time I needed a taxi in a hurry, I couldn't find one. So I became annoyed and bought one of my own. But why should a weak old corpse be dumped into your cab? I don't know. It seems every time I see you, you're with a suspicious character. Well, every time you see me, Inspector, I'm with you. Inspector. That's my hat. Oh, I'm sorry. Hmm. Now I'll have one of your sandwiches, Shrevy. Sandwich? Yes, so will I. Sure. Hey, what happened to those sandwiches? Oh, I know. I ate them myself. <laughs> I must have been hungry. I'd better make some more, huh? That's a good idea. I think it is. No test reveal what type gem it is. Well, could it be glass? Mm -hmm. Diamond barely scratches it. I don't think it's a jewel. Well, isn't that the same as those found in the grave? Mm -hmm. Then Frobey kidnapped Yeoman and his jewels. I think Frobey had that before the grave was open. Oh, nothing makes sense. Not even this. You might just as well have given it to the police. <laughs> now, if you can't make sense out of it, what do you think Cardona would do with it? Don't pick on him. He's a very good detective, even if he doesn't like it. Trouble is, they pile work on him just because he is good. I don't get this. On the first page, there's only one sentence. Must find pure solvent for cellulose. Well, what does that mean? And look. All the rest are just, just formulas. All old ones. Been in public domain for years. Most of them wrong. Mm -hmm. See here, look. Yeah. One extra element wrong and out of place. Now, that man, whoever he was, made the same mistake in seven other formulas. Element? Yes. That's what you're made of, baby. Oh, sugar and spice and everything nice. Mm hmm With a little TNT and dynamite. And just a touch of thunder and lightning. You say the sweetest things. When you have nothing more exciting to do, why don't we get married? <laughs> Excuse me, but the... Uh, ah, food. The telephone's ringing. Oh. Food. You know, Paul Burbank. You and your telephone bells. When I kiss him, I want him to hear wedding bells. Sure, sure. Have a sardine sandwich? No, no thank you. Wait a minute. Repeat that, will you? We contacted the Customs Department. Customs inspectors searched the coffin when it arrived. They say that there's no duty to be collected on any of Yeoman's jewels. Okay, thanks. I'll check back later. I was right. That isn't a jewel. And neither are those found in that grave. It isn't? Well, then, what's it all about? No. Burbank also said that Cardona is meeting all the suspects it has in the tin. We've got to get going. Come on. Well, hey, 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 wait a minute. Here's the sandwiches. The si uh, you work around here with your fingers to the bone and nobody appreciates it. Now, what's going to happen to those sandwiches? I know what's going to happen to them. <laughs> I'll eat them myself. It's a dandy idea. I'm going 
in there. All right, let's go. Oh, no. No, the shadow's going in alone. Oh, uh, have a sardine sandwich. No, thank you, Shreddy. Oh. What's the matter? This thing's got no taste to it. No wonder. The sardine got away. And it was that big, too. <laughs> Your people would have made a lot of money if Hasden had sold out to you. But you would have made more if you got Yeoman's jewels without paying Hasden. We were doing business on the level. Inspector, I think... Please, I'm doing the thinking. And I'm doing it out loud. And I'm thinking someone in this room drugged Hasden. Hasden was drugged? Yes. Yeah. The autopsy showed that he'd been drugged for almost a week. Yes, Adam. Why were you in Probate's warehouse yesterday? I wasn't. You were seen there? No. What do you know about Yeoman's jewels? And Probate's gems? Speak up, quickly. I don't know what you're talking about. Why? None of you knew Hasden was drugged, eh? No. Well, he seemed all right to me. I can spot dopers. And Hasden didn't look drugged to me. Quiet, everyone. And don't move. I have a clue the police should follow. Don't move, Inspector. What clue? Adams, the butler. Adams knows too much of what has happened around here. He will talk. He is in the upper hall unconscious. Go to him after I've gone. Turn on those lights. Don't move or I'll shoot. Don't shoot. I'll give up until I... Ah! Died, the same way Hasden did. That was a scream I heard. But who come in the house right after the scream, huh? From outside? Around the corner, right in that front door. From toward the balcony? Yeah. Well, who was it? Man or woman? It was a man. Uh, no, no, it was a woman. Or, no, I think it was a he. Or it was a she. I don't know which it was. Oh, Shrevy. Well, come on, let's get out of here. Shadow killed Adams? Yes, and Hasden, too. And kidnapped Yeomans and stole the jewels. But, Uncle, you said that Hasden and Adams committed suicide. That's what it looked like. But they were murdered. How? I don't know yet, but I'll find out. Well, what's the motive? Yeoman's jewels. But they were gone before the deaths occurred. Yes, but suppose Hasden and Adams knew something that would expose whoever got Yeoman's new gem. That would be a motive for murder. But I don't see how you can do anything to the Shadow. No? Just let me get my hands on you. Hmm. I see. Well, I think I'll be going. Good day. If we knew how Yeomans disappeared, we'd solve this case. The mystery is how were Hazard and Adams killed. Yeoman's disappearance is simple. It is? Well, how did he disappear? Why, you figured that out from the start. I, I just... Well, yes. Remember when you said that Yeomans must have been studying the shadow's technique? Yes. I don't get it. I don't either. Well, it's simple. Oh, sure, sure. But I still don't get it. Come on, Probe. 
stalled long enough. What do you know about those murders? I told you. Nothing. No? What do you know about this? Where did you get that? From your safe. If the police get this, they'll convict you of robbery and of murder. No, no. That's not one from the grave. That's... Lamont's been in there an awfully long time. I'm scared, Trevi. Me too. Uh, that is, I mean, I'm scared for him. You go see what's happening. Uh, what? Uh, now I'm, I, I'm scared for me. All right. I'll tell all I know. can prove what I'm going to tell you, but we must go down to the warehouse. You go ahead. You boss. Oh, we gotta get out of here. Come on. Yeah.
You can't solve anything until you find out how those three men were killed. We'll know when I get the shadow. Still picking on him, huh? Listen, Cass, Daggett, and Watson, the warehouse guards, say they saw the shadow kill Frobe. Well, I wonder why Frobe hired such thugs. He didn't. Hasden hired them. Mm. Hasden? Yes. We learned that he was Frobe's silent partner. Well, well, now that's interesting news. Well, I guess I better be going. Unless you need my help, Inspector. I need your help. Well, I guess I better be going. Three murders. Sure is a short time between corpses, ain't it? <laughs> Do you really think there's a secret room inside that warehouse? Well, we'll soon find out. I know that Adams disappeared in there. Trevor, you wait here. Oh, boss, give me a chance to slug the guy who slugged me, won't you? You better get in training first. Why, I'm in the pink. Look. Uh, you mean punk. Just a minute. No one comes in here except the police. Oh, I know that, uh, but Inspector Cardona won't mind. Uh, oh, just phone him and tell him Craston is looking around. Well, all right. See if you can find one that's open. Headquarters. Get me Inspector Cardona. So you found it. And how I found it. Okay, let's go. Who did you say? Cranston. No, of course not. Flying out of that warehouse. He's hiding. I'll be right over. they have hidden away down here. What are you looking for? The motive for four murders? Three, darling. Hasden, Adams, and Trobe. And the corpse they put in our taxi. Incidentally, Cardona did a good job today and identified the body as Joseph Yeomans. Yeomans? The man who disappeared from Hasden? Yeomans was dead that night and in this building. Then who did disappear? Quiet, man at work. Where? Pretty rusty, but I think I can open it. I'm afraid I can't. But maybe if it's old and rusty, they didn't lock it. Oh, Margot, please. Not a profound piece of deduction, but cute, don't you think? What are you doing here? Oh, oh, who, me? Why, I'm waiting here to, to take away Mr. Cranston. When I get through with him, you'll take away what's left. Uh, that's what you think. The jewels that came out of the coffin. And the motive for murder. Now what? Well, these are the same as the one Frobe had. Uh, not jewels. But Hasden said they were worth a fortune. Why? Do you know the answer? Mm -hmm. Well, then tell me. Don't ask me. Either the mystery is here, the wrong element. I remember in several of the old formulas. Mm -hmm. I'll get the first one. You read off the other wrong elements I've got marked, and we'll mix them up. If Cranston didn't go out, he's still in here. But, the Inspector, he ain't in here, and he didn't go out. Mm. Why'd you do that? That note gave me the tip. Must find pure solvent for cellulose? Is that it? No, but that note about pure solvent for cellulose means that Yeomans was trying to make plastic. Lamont, you don't mean that these are plastic. It's probably the toughest plastic known. And it's so worth millions to whoever owns the formula for making it. Dump the rest of them in here. Oh, but Lamont, they're so pretty. Dump them! No, he ain't out yet. I wanted to go in, but he wouldn't let me. I won't let him in either. 
too bad when he's in already, has he? Yeah. Who does he think he is? I know who he is. He's the chief of police. Margo! I didn't do it. I, I just... And don't shout at me. Not until after we're married. And then don't you dare do it. I'll make a note of that. These plastic gems should be dissolved by now. Completely? What was in one of them? Your capsule. Fish the rest of them out. Are there more? Well, there should be one in each gem. After inventing such a wonderful plastic, why did you almost want to find something to dissolve it? They part his invention. He hit his plastic formula, only he would know where to find it. See? A piece of microfilm with writing on it. There should be a piece of film in each one of those, too. Part of Yeoman's formula on it. Will this help solve the case? Sure. Now I know what to do. Those three thugs that were guarding this place were in on the plot to steal Yeoman's formula. They were probate and adamant. Like Hasden, they were killed because they were about to talk. Then who is the murderer? The person who disappeared from Hasden's that night. Oh. Come on, we better ramble. Before Cardano starts looking for us. There. See those stairs, and he didn't go out there. If you ask me, I'm not asking you. I'm sure I heard something. Get that crate out of here. Great. This ain't no crate. This Get is it out of here fast. Oh, all right. I should have said to him, I should have said, who pays your wages? I do, the taxpayer. That's what I should have said to oh, him. Oh, you should have, eh? Yes, I should have. Well, I didn't. Excuse me. It's okay now, boss. Oh. Did you hear me tell that car donor what I think of him? Why, you told him nothing at all. It's just what I think of him. <laughs> Well, what have you got saved yourself? I was only in the warehouse about ten minutes. I guess we can forgive you. But, Commissioner, when I came in... Yes? Inspector Cardona? Thanks. Hello. Inspector Cardona? Just a moment, please. This is the Shadow. Be at Hasden's home at ten tonight if you wish to solve the case. The Shadow knows. Oh, hello! Hello. What is it? That was the shadow. He tells me to be the Hasden's house tonight if I want to solve the case. I'm going there right now. And if the shadow shows up, I'll get him. I'll be there. Good hunting, Inspector. If I was you, I wouldn't hang around here. It's pretty dangerous. A couple of guys got bumped off in there. Murderers running around loose, and the cops ain't doing anything about it. It's terrible. Why, the insufficiency of the law is... Inefficiency? Yeah. It's simply applauding. It's applauding. Appalling. Yeah, well, well, you get what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. And I get what you mean. Yeah. Oh, where is he now? Here I am, boss. You know, there's more cops out there than there is at a policeman's ball. Never mind that. You remember everything I told you? You know me. When you give me obstructions, I follow them exactly to the letter. Yeah. Come on. Good evening. Yeah. I'd like to see the shadow get in or out of here tonight. Step in there, please. Uh, mind if we come in, too? No, 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 not at all. But be quiet. minutes past ten. Shadow's not here. I'll bet he's afraid of... Afraid of what, Inspector? Don't move. Inspector, Yeoman's gems were false. 
but inside them were capsules which contained a formula for making plastic worth millions. You people knew that? They did. All of these people were after Joseph Yeomans' formula. And one of them killed Yeomans and the other three. How were Hasden, Adams, and Probe killed? They were dragged to death. And the evidence was right under your nose, Inspector. No one went out the front. Warn the guards outside. Shadow didn't come out because I had a guard at every door and window. He's not inside. He disappeared the same as Yeoman. Yeoman's never got here. He was dead that night. Who was it disappeared? I know, but I can't do any good until I find out how those murders were committed. At least one of the four of you is a murderer. And I'm going to find out which one before we leave here. Inspector! Look what I found in my coat pocket. What are they, steel capsules? This is with them, a note from the shadow. The note says the capsules contain Yeoman's plastic formula, the motive for murder. I told you to be quiet. I'm sorry, Inspector. I leaned against the wall and knocked it off. Now I'll tell you how the murders were done. Adams had a burn around his right wrist. Probe had a cut on the back of his right hand. The cut and the burn were made by the murder weapon. This, or one like it. There are plenty of these hanging on the walls of this house. I think you hit it, Inspector. I'd show you how it was done. If I could handle one of these things. I can use a whip. Do you mind? Ready? Upstairs. Now me and the boys are going to do what we rehearsed. Now, as you remember, all of the victims were on the upper floor before they were killed. The killer standing below with his bow whip. Each victim had his right hand on or near the railing. Then the killer stuck. Then the murderer pulled, tightening the loop, dragging his victim to death. Boss! Don't forget, it's me! It's me! As the victims fell, he flicked the latch free, recoiled his whip, hung it back on the wall, and join the others rushing to find the newly murdered man. Now, does that sound logical, Inspector? That's the way it was done. Well, I'm glad that's settled, but how's the man that came in here that evening disappear? I'll show you. From the den, you can see the stairs in the rear hall. From the living room, you can see part of the hall. The library door. You can't see that from either of those other doors. Right. Oh, oh, I get it. Well, say I'm the man that came here that night. I enter the door, no one sees me. I take off my coat and hat and hang them in the closet. And then, I disappear. Here. That's the way it worked, Inspector? That's it, exactly. But who was the man who disappeared? The murderer, an expert with the bullwhip. And common in Australia. The murderer <laughs> enters disappears into the library, then comes out of the den with Hasden as himself. Get him, Shrevy! Look him on a murder charge. I suppose you people realize what a close call you had. You don't think we were involved. I know you weren't. But was out to double cross all of you. You'll have to remain in town as your material witnesses. Well, I solved that case. Oh, oh I mean, I, I think you're wonderful, Inspector. Oh, thank you. Let me get my outfit. Sure. Oh, let's go someplace to relax. Relax? Let's go where there's excitement. <laughs> You'll be all right as soon as you get out the air. Come on. Hey, boys. How about me wearing this and solving some cases, huh? I'll be with you in a moment, Commissioner. What's the matter? 
as soon as I get my hat. You people going to stay here all night? No, we're just leaving. We're leaving with you, Inspector. I've got to get my hat. Oh, your hat! It's in the living room. Oh, no, no, your hat's upstairs. If there's one thing a detective can find, it's his hat. And mine's in here. Oh, thank you. Uh, what are you doing in there? Oh, I, I, I thought it was the way out, but, but, but it ain't. Nice to see you, Inspector. Yes, nice to inspect. Inspector, good night. Good night. Good night. Why are you walking backwards? I, I sometimes like to walk backwards. Why? Well, I, I like to see where I've been. Don't get fresh with an officer. I'm not getting fresh. I, no, I, I dropped my coat. Oh, 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 no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Shreddy. Everything's under control. Yes, sir. Everything's under control. <laughs> Say, Cranston. How do you suppose the shadow ever got out of here? Well, now, that question has been bothering me, too. Good night, Inspector. Good night, Inspector. Good night. <laughs>